Welcome back everybody. Have you ever had orange wine? What is orange wine made of? That's exactly what I'm going to discuss in today's video. First of all, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. That really would help me out and make me very happy. All right, so orange wine, an interesting topic, relatively new to me, but definitely not new through the history of wine. I said relatively new to me because I think it was only last year that I tried orange wine for the first time. I had never even heard of orange wine before. And I think it's safe to say that maybe it's not as popular or as well known as, you know, your, your reds and your whites. So it was relatively new to me, but definitely not new through the history of wine. There has been a history of orange wine here in Italy, but even before that, way, way, way back when they were doing orange wine in Georgia. In the country of Georgia, they were doing orange wine, which I think is kind of cool. You know how something can be popular from a long, long time ago, but then for whatever reason, it falls out of popularity, but eventually it makes its way back. Long enough time afterwards that people think it's a new concept, but pretty cool how this was actually an old concept. Anyway, how is this made? This orange wine, is it made from oranges? And sadly, the answer is no. If you were hoping that, no, it is not made from oranges. Orange wine is made from grapes, just like other wines. What they're gonna do is they're gonna use the white wine grapes, and they're gonna leave the skins on for a period of time. And the color, the orange color, is gonna come from the skins. It's gonna come from the contact with the seeds. That's how it becomes orange. So it's kind of like how they do for rosé wine with the red grapes, except we're using the white grapes, and what we end up with is something that's colored orange. Now this particular one from Val di Bella is pretty interesting because this producer that's actually a cooperative, meaning it's multiple individuals that come together to form this business and they're focused on natural methods of production, uh, sustainability type things. They're very interested in the biodiversity of the landscape that they're farming. They're interested in native crops, stuff like that. And the cooperative idea is kind of cool to me and I think something that you will start to see more of because there are some benefits to be had from doing something like a cooperative. So for example, it could help you with the barriers to entry as for getting into the wine industry. You know, you have to have land, you have to have equipment, which can be very expensive if you wanted to start a winery. And by doing the cooperative, it kind of gets more people involved that maybe they wouldn't be able to if they were just doing it on their own. So it's very cool to me and yeah, focused on organic farming, sustainability, stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and evaluate this wine. So it is, I would say, a pale amber color. Usually with these orange wines and this one as well, it smells kind of like apricots. It also smells like there's some sort of like spice. I'm not quite sure what that is. But apricots, for sure. Tastes similar to the smell. Also, maybe a little citrusy, so kind of like grapefruit, and maybe also honey as well. The orange wines are, they usually seem very unique to me. It's very interesting. Have you ever had orange wine? Let me know in the comments. But for now, cheers.